Got something over here. Wow. We had nothing over there. Wonder if that was just like a test. Will you steal this one scepter or coin? I'm not sure what they call money yet. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wiganweld potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wiganweld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Oh, is, is that a scar? Yeah, he's got a scar. He's limping. What kind of battle did he go through? Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Uh, looks like we're going counterclockwise. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. Oh, we hold our breath. Ooh, three. Of course, it's the perfect amount. So now we're going clockwise. I do hope I don't have to do that every time I make a potion. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He's dropping ass. Yes, but why does that matter to you? Brilliant! And it matters because you can be a part of something truly creative. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. See, I don't trust Professor Weasley. I don't know if I trust you, but you don't seem too stuck up. Let's take a chance. I'll get you the Fwooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fwooper Feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. I mean, if he tried anything funny, you know, put a hurting on him. So I'm not too worried. Okay, so there's the feather. Revelio. Let's collect the fur first. 
the eggs. Maybe he won't miss the feather. I mean, there's only three in there. One goes missing. Precision is key when brewing potions. I think he's gonna know. Here's the flopper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you. This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your endurance potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Yeah, because if it's something good, I want a piece. Should you chop the didney or crush it? The wrong answer could result in the unfortunate loss of your eyebrows. Speaking from experience, Professor? Ah, right, here we go. So I gotta purchase the potion before I can even see what ingredients I need. So we get to sit here and watch this for 13 more seconds. That's quite interesting. How's everybody's day going? Go ahead and leave it in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. And now we add the mallow sweet. And that's odd. What's happening? Oh no. Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! No! Dragon Dunk! What happened? <laughs> well done, Gareth. What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. Is a oh, to me son of a... Wasn't expecting that literally to blow up in my face. It was rather brilliant, though. I'd better clean up. You should finish brewing your potion if you haven't already. The hands that I'm about to put on you are going to be brilliant, too. Now I'm in trouble. Hey, Professor. Hey. Said you wanted to talk? I brewed an Adurus potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I mean, I could go down the denial road, but I was the only person. There's no point. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. Deny, 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 but sometimes you just got to tell the truth. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. I could cry about it, but... Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. 
Next time we talk, I promise, fewer explosions. Fewer explosions? Homie, you owe me one. You're in my debt. And I do collect. Ain't that true? Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of Cross Wands ready? Look who's back. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Go with Sebastian to help me this time. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. I knew it. Four on two. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah. Please tell me all the bad, never good, till my head full of every single doubt, yeah. Please tell me negative thoughts. Oh, what the crap? What the crap? Camera just went wild. Are you close to here? Put you in the air. Waiting for my wizard sense to go off. Bring you back. Nice. Perfect time to dodge. Keep you in the air. Nope. Ooh, dodge two of them. Okay. And hit you. When you closer, so I can focus on the O. I meant to do uh, my parry, not Incineo. Come here. On you feel. There we go. Just barely. Put him up. Oh, she's done for. I'm going heal. Barely got that. Bring it closer, light on fire, that was a nice little crit. Oh, that level was 12. I won't be just going to war, not even care. Come here. Are you the last one? Yes, you are. Let's get you off the ground. Can I throw any more objects at you? I cannot. But I can bring you closer and light you up. That's how we do it. What a victory! You've won the tournament! I'm just getting started. That was nothing. I'm just getting started. If the best duelists in the school weren't enough competition, then perhaps you should consider transferring to Dernstrang. Now, to the victor goes the prize! And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Thank you all, thank you. Thank you, it's been an honor. You earned it, you are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. We'll go check on them. Yes. Alright, well we did it, people.
I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Of course, Professor. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. I really like how you increase the spell powers in this game. You just can't buy it. You gotta do stuff to earn it. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Indeed I do. What do we earn? Some wands and weapons from most enemies. Oh, that is dangerously awesome. What's up, homie? Let me know, He's got levitated. You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. People flying kites. That's cool. Enjoying this That's nice intriguing. day. What the pole? What looks intriguing? What did I miss? Hey, what's up, people? You repping Slytherin? I think you repping. He's got the green on. I don't have my green on, but you know, it's in my heart. I ain't got to wear the colors to rep it. It's understood. That's the waypoint I need. Okay, we got two missions now. Let's see what she's talking about. Can I beseech you for some assistance? Grace Pinch. How you doing? Hello. Can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Normally, I'd say no. But I see the logo. And you repping the, the fam, so. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I mean, they had to find traces of the boat. Especially Rapero. Come on. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. I don't know if I should know that name or not, but I don't know that name. And I'm not as impressed as you think I should. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. 
It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Okay, I guess I can swim. Let, let's see here. We'll find out later. I'm gonna go do Natty's quest. And then we'll swim after that. It is good to see you, my friend. What's good, girl? That is another quest behind you. Hello, Natty. How are you? I am well, thank you. I was there, and I saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow at the Three Broomsticks. I have been worried about you. I'm all right at the moment. If you don't mind my asking, why were they looking for you? Oh. Unfortunately... I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm. A bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Everyone has been talking about you defending Hogsmeade from that troll attack. And I shall never forget watching Serona stand up to Rookwood and Harlow in the Three Broomsticks. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. What I'm talking about, girl? Let them know what territory they are. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And you should know that Rookwood is in league with Ranrock. I had heard they were seen in Hogsmeade together. All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow is planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. I beg your pardon. How dare you threaten me? What's going on here? Huh. Revelio. Okay, yeah, I, I want to go there, but then, like, there's. Look at that chest. I gotta get the item first. Playing to my Skyrim, I'm hopping over things. But mummy, Archie, I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home, especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see them, mummy. They're beautiful. These horses with wings. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now. Rebellion. You do some more drawings for me. Hmm? Very well, mommy. Yo, I can't see you. I can hear you, but I cannot see where they were unless they're over here. Oh, okay. Pardon me. 
Is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Yeah, that's not right. Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful, and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with Wizardkind. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. It was nice meeting you. <laughs> I wish it had been under better circumstances. Yeah, Ranrock is starting to be a problem. Well, problem solver. Rebellion. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arn. They must have come this way. Think! Stand still. I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. Who? A student! You can't be so... <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupid Hey, I want to go to war. Put me back there! Nah, I'm gonna bring you closer. That's what you get. Two on one against some old lady. Come on. Oh, you want oh, some? The light go out of your eyes. Let's have some fun then. Ooh. Saved by the animation chief. Come here. some help. Tell Rook we find himself. Haha, okay. You tell me how this feels. Turn you into a chicken. That's cold blooded. Come here. Burn you up. Nope, you're not going down yet. Number one for you. Can't see you got tall grass, so we gotta lift you up. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. That was our first encounter with dark wizards. Hey, that Dark Wizard class paid off. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. 
Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. A quick question. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor. Here's what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Oh, it's good to have an inside person. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Interesting. I sense another side quest. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Hmm. Sure, let's see. This trunk... Take plenty, even if you already have some. I have the Mallow Suite. Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. Place the Mallow Suite on the swell, and we'll see what happens. I imagine that it's going to lead to some stairs, but I'm most likely wrong. Disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I am curious about these pyres. Light them up, I guess. Incendio. Fallen's beard. The flames make the pyre sink. Yep. Trial one complete. Oh, How beautiful. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Rebellion. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? 
Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. And do be careful out here. Now I've got what I needed, I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. Pretty sure we can grow it too if we don't want to buy it in Hogsmeade. That's how you travel in style right there. Revelio. Greetings, young Slytherin. Scrope knows about the old book you found for Professor Fig. Scrope can help you. And you can help Scrope. Get to the courtyard past the pendulum. If you don't know it, you'll see it easy enough. And don't tell anyone what you're up to. Especially Professor Black. All right, we're getting side quest galore, which is awesome. Things are starting to get deep. We're getting in the midst of things. People are trusting us with secrets. We're trying to decide who we're going to trust with our secrets. It's getting crazy. People, stay tuned. But for right now, I appreciate y'all stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe. Helps the channel grow. And it's always appreciated. Until the next one, I'm out.